Simplify the sixth root of this. Oh my god. Horrible. Complicated. Easy. Now, what shall we do? Of course. First, we have to inspect this number. Six. Six can be written as two times three. So now, what does it mean? It means that firstly, we have to write this term as a square term. Then, we have to consider writing the new term as a cube term. So let's do it. Firstly, how to write it as a squared term. 99 plus 70 times the square root of 2. Okay. You can see here, 70. 70. Oh, ugly. Usually, here should be 2. So now, it can be written as 2 times square root of, because 2 times 35 is 70. So in the square root, it is 35 squared times 2. So this is true. Oh, why is it so short? Okay, now. Now under the root, we have this. What can we do now? 35 squared, it is 5 times 7, then all squared. So it is 5 squared times 7 squared times 2 under the root. Now, it is 5 times 5 times 2 times 7 times 7. And then, have a look. If we multiply these three guys times each other and these two, so that means I separate these two sections. Then, here should be 5 times 5 times 2 is 50. Here is 49. And we can notice that 50 plus 49 is just 99. So, we've succeeded. Then, it can be written as square root of 50 plus square root of 49 all squared. Which can be written as square root of 50 is 5 root 2. This is just 7. So, it is this. Then, that means the sixth root of this, I'm going to write here, okay? 99 plus 70 times square root of 2 is the sixth root of 5 root 2 plus 7 all squared. 6, 2, 2 can be cancelled, and here is 3. So it is just the cube root of 5 root 2 plus 7. Now we have to simplify this, a trick, using substitution. By substitution, we can let the cube root of this thing, 7 plus 5 root 2, be alpha. And, because we want to calculate the, the value of alpha, now I'm going to bring another term here, and the term is the conjugated form, the conjugated term of alpha. Why? Because they have relationships. This is beta. Alpha and beta have relationships. For example, alpha times beta, and alpha cubed plus beta cubed. Alpha times beta is just negative 1. Why? Because 7 plus 5 root 2 times 7 minus 5 root 2 is 49 minus 50 minus 1. 
Since the cube root of negative 1 is just negative 1, so alpha times beta is negative 1. Alpha cube plus beta cube is just 7 plus 5 root 2 plus 7 minus 5 root 2 plus minus 5 root 2 can be cancelled. So it is 2 times 7 is 14. Very good. Then we can solve for the value of alpha and beta. Don't worry, look. Alpha cube plus beta cube is alpha plus beta times alpha squared minus alpha beta plus beta squared equals 14. Then alpha plus beta times alpha squared minus alpha beta plus beta squared come written as alpha plus beta squared minus 3 alpha beta is 14. Because we know that alpha beta, alpha times beta is just negative 1. And now substitute alpha plus beta. We can substitute m for it. So m times m squared plus 3 equals 14. So m cubed plus 3m equals 14. And then minus 14 equals 0. Now we can actually get the value of m by factorization. It is m minus 2 times m squared plus 2m plus 7 equals 0. Maybe you have a question. How do you know that? Negative 14 can be written as negative 8 minus 6. So the left hand side will be m cubed minus 8 plus 3m minus 6. The factor m minus 2 can be taken out. Then in the bracket, it is this. So m minus 2 is 0, m equals 2. For this section, delta is smaller than 0. So we can get m equals 2 is the answer, is the solution. Because m is alpha plus beta, so alpha plus beta equals 2. And we also have alpha times beta equals negative 1. So multiplication and addition. Then According to the theorem of Vieta, we can get that alpha and beta are two solutions of this equation. x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0. Because negative b over a is 2 and c over a is negative 1. Very good. Now I actually get two values. x is 1 plus or negative square root of 2. However, we know that alpha is greater than beta because here is plus and here is minus. So alpha is the bigger value, 1 plus square root of 2. So that means our answer is what? Our this guy equals 1 plus square root of 2. Wow! Successfully simplified. Did you get it? Did you get the trick? Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to me for more wonderful questions. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.